video is a little different than most of the videos I make. Just wanted to give you an idea of what we did in trading group today. Had an hour long question and answer where I really wanted to answer everybody's questions, go over a lot of basics and then how they work together. YouTube, yesterday we talked about this exact idea where we were looking for bearish retest and more downside. Talked about this here. We got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person started with $9,000 money he earned in 2020. Now he's cashed out $200,000 and he still has $230,000 in his crypto trading account. Sign up this week. I'm still giving a huge discount, 60% off the regular prices. Remember you go over to the website, cryptorev.net. Pays for itself. It's a no brainer, cryptorev.net. If you go down into the description of this video, there's a link to take you directly to this website. Remember, if you have any questions, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. This is where it all started. 2017, I didn't know anything about Bitcoin. I was still trying to find the best way to make money in this market. Was it crypto mining? Was it buying ICOs? How was I going to make money in this market? I had, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm living in a few thousand dollar trailer. I'm driving a car that barely runs. I'm barely making ends meet. And this is where I'm at now. My name's Chris. This is the Crypto Revolution YouTube channel. I'm here to help you learn to trade the market, help you learn how the market really works. Handle broke out. Every time you had this, um, I mean, essentially this falling wedge, every time you had these falling wedges, I'm gonna show you the things that I did to 10X, 20X, 30X, 50X my money in a short period of time. On this channel, I'm gonna teach you how to chart coins, exit and entry ideas. I've got a trading group where we change lives, period. I've got some shout outs for people in my trading group. This person started trading with $1,000 a few weeks ago. Now he's up to $12,000. This person started with 500 bucks. Now they're double the money. Period. I can't believe it. You guys saw where I started from. Here I am today. This all happened because of the ideas that I learned and I teach every single day in my trading group. I'm very active, post every day, barely take days off. I've got a whole team of technical traders that help me and keep, we do things in our trading group that nobody else does. If you want charts analyzed, we're gonna take things to the next level and help you make the most of this market. If you're losing money in this market, there's a problem. If you're taking losses, you're riding downtrends, you're doing things wrong. You, there's no way that you need to be giving your money back to this market. On this channel, I'm gonna make sure that you change your life forever, but you have to be open to learning new ideas and I'm gonna help you. Okay, welcome to the midweek question and answer. I just feel like I wanna reach out to you guys and understand this market's been terrible. I mean, this has been right here this is the worst string of red candles that we've seen ever in the history of Bitcoin. As far as, you know, these are obviously each week is one candle. As far as timeline goes, you've had more red weeks than ever in a row. So not amazing. And so I wanted to reach out to you guys and make sure you have a lot of good questions that I've written down and I've taken notes on and want to address these just to get these out there so everybody can uh, learn from these ideas. So someone asked, uh, why is USDT safe? So USDT has been around the longest. Um, I use it. And if you, if you feel the need, maybe USDC would be an alternative. You start to get in, I can tell you a list of stable coins that have lost their pegs. One time, USDT dropped down to 85 cents and there's just all this FUD about it. And because this is a USDT paired, well, not this one, but a USDT paired charts, it made, it made Bitcoin look like it was pumping because USDT dropped. If you don't understand that idea, watch, there's a, there's a video that talks about it, but USDT dropped down to 85 cents, which made Bitcoin look like it pumped from 6,000 to 7,500. Stable coins, USDT, I use it. USDC might be an option. Um, I do have some and I'm not trying to check out new stable coins. Obviously, UST got completely destroyed. 
I'm gonna ask, should beginners ignore gems posted in VIP? A 20, you get $20,000 in buys, they, they pump immediately. But what I'll do is I'll wait for the retest or what whales do is they accumulate in accumulation, right? And then it's just about being patient. Like so much of this market is about waiting for the market cycles. When you have these long-term sideways, like where the bases are formed, whales accumulate, they buy slow in accumulation, right? And then retail starts to buy pretty much too late as far as the uptrend goes. So it's always important not to ride the downtrends. This is called accumulation. Whales buy here. So if you have 20, 50, 100,000, like you're a whale on these KuCoin small caps. So buy an accumulation and wait. But I want Bitcoin, I want Bitcoin to put in some solid bottoming market structure before that happens. But then understand when you have a, a lot of money and you move the market, like you have to buy differently. Um, most people, if you have a thousand dollar bag, you can pretty much buy whatever, but you're not going to get in and out of these trades with large amounts um, on KuCoin. It's, it's, it's one of those things where you're waiting for the retest. Yeah, no, I posted that video today. Yeah, li I lived in a trailer really because I just didn't care about where I lived. I was just, I had a computer, I had a dream and I met a girl online. I bought her, I ended up moving in with her bought her trailer bought her car and i just didn't i'm not really the type of person that wants to collect a bunch of objects you know that doesn't but it's, it's come to a point where it's nice to enjoy um, what i've worked for so you guys really give me my life meaning you know like i should have retired years ago but just knowing that i'm helping you guys i just want you to have the same thing that i do a chance at changing your life I mean, this market destroyed every single relationship i've been in this market has taken its toll on my personal life. So don't, don't be like me, like make sure and, and balance yourself out. But I'm just really in tune and, and want to make sure that you guys have the same opportunities that, that just what make, makes me feel good. I just left my CPA. I'm starting a charity. I want to help people. Like that's my calling. That's what, that, that's what makes me feel good. Never in a million years did I think I'd be starting a charity. I'd be getting messages that I get from you guys. Like that drives me. Like it gives me purpose. And so I appreciate you guys. Yeah. You're, you're going to end up sitting some stale coins. Um, I don't recommend just like, especially right now, like the, the stale coins are getting wrecked too. But when there's, when, when the markets turns around and just to touch on this idea, like with this chart, like every day I wake up and this is the chart that's in the forefront of my mind, weekly level key bounce weekly level i mean imagine all the downside here and it completely reversed the trend the bulls lost this level those kucoin picks i mean kucoin's a real good place if you have a small bag to 10 20 extra money if you have thousand dollars or so but i mean when you're trading with a couple bitcoin a trade you're gonna have to go to bolsa dx or binance something like that where there's more liquidity a, a real easy answer which coins to trade is if i see falling wedge if i see a falling wedge and it's about to break out 75% full, right? At some point, there's an apex. There's an apex. When it gets to the apex, I know that if I'm in that coin, unless Bitcoin dumps, you're probably going to get a breakout to the upside. So again, that's difficult when Bitcoin is dumping or trending lower. But I love falling wedges. I'll buy before the breakout on bullish divergence. Key strategy. But I need Bitcoin to look healthier. Amy asked about a tutorial on short trading on KuCoin. Easy way is just to trade the three X shorts. All that does is if you were to look, if you hit alt I, I mean, look how, look, so you just hit alt I on, on trading view, just as an example, let me clean up this mess we've got in front of us is this bullish. And so this is a breakout of a double bottom. And so how are people long here? Now, what you want to see is you want to see this be some fake out, some fake out and lose this level right but then let's flip it upside down this big if this is a bear trap we're going we're, we're it's going to be a good strong run but but if not you have to assume the price continues lower because you've lost them these are key levels over months and months and months and months to vet you know established all the buyers were right here this level was lost i'm yelling at the bulls like what are you guys doing how do you lose this level you're going to lower prices now, but when it fakes if it, if it fakes out and it re bullish retests this level Bears will get punished at that point. So A, plan A, plan B, right? Assume the downside once this level is lost, which has already happened. And then if it flips it, 
like wait the okay so I'll, let's say i'm sitting around here the other day I'm trying to post some setups and I'm, I'm watching the market too when you're just sitting in front of your computer and you're watching these coins like it, it's it's hard not to over trade right so you you have to you just learn to be patient right? i've got three new employees and like i said jeff bezos imagine him from amazon sending out packages individually like that's what i've been doing uh, my system is broken on a business level. Like I'm trying to do everything. And finally, I've, I've given in and, and, and I've, I moved admin Joe over here in a house. And he, he was over here this morning. We had a meeting. Like now I've got a new admin that I hired. I have another admin. So I actually, this is a group of people now. And so we're really, I'm going to be able to take things to the next level. I was trying to do everything. I just trying to do too much. So, and what are the best exchanges? So Bolsa DX, the, the gentleman that is the CEO of Bolsa DX has been in the group forever. Like I, I helped him turn um, 500,000 into 8 million bucks and he had never traded before. We have a good relationship with the team there. They're quick to respond. I'm, I don't, if you have a problem, don't email me, email them. And then they, everything runs on Binance Cloud. So you're still working on Binance backend. KuCoin, golden right it's just it, it's been good and those are my two exchanges. best time frames to look at for bitcoin bounce ideas so the the bounces always start on the short or shorter term time frames right the moves always start on the lower term time frames but they don't always carry over so look at multiple time frames the falling wedge on the five minute the bounce starts there wait for a double bottom double bottom gets confirmed maybe like on the one hour then move to the four hour right? you don't know how far that the, the move is going to carry over but the the moves start on the five minute chart will they carry over to the daily will it just be you know a, a short-term bounce so understand how to use the time frames together why do moving averages change on different time frames so moving averages are based on so the 50 moving average is based on the last 50 candle closes it's an average of those closes so these weekly candles have different, a different data set than five minute candles, right? So the moving averages are based on those. Don't cherry pick, don't go through and f like you can easily with moving averages, like if my, one of my entry ideas is I'll buy a bullish retest of the four hour 200 SMA, but I can, you could always go and find a bullish retest of one of the moving averages on one time frame. So don't cherry pick like that. Just once you have a strategy, you just stick to it, right? If I'm gonna go long, bullish retest of, of 200 SMA and Bitcoin looking decent, entry idea, right? So I have a, I have a specific strategy. I might not even wanna be in the trade. My, my strategy says trade this like a bot. Detach yourself emotionally from this market and just do, right, stick to your plan. Write down your plan, always stick to your plan. Don't lose money, do not lose money. Never enter a trade and say, okay, I'm going to, this will probably turn around. You know how many times I said, this will probably turn around and it didn't probably one in a hundred turnarounds, right? As soon as the trade goes south, exit, right? You can be wrong half the time or more. If you sell quickly, you, you can make a ton of money in this market. If you just hit the winners and, and, and sell the losers quickly. Okay.